my channel. Today we have Mike Mike with us. It's been a while since we've had him on my channel. Yes. Super excited. <laughs> since bodybuilding, I'm back into the calisthenics world. Let's go. So about to do a calisthenic workout. We're at the lab today. Um, that's where Mike Mike trains out of. So if you're in the GTA yep. area, make sure to check him out. He's absolutely amazing. I've been working oh, with him for you. a while. So <laughs> you guys about to see my progress? Yep. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> a warm up first. We'll just do like full circles all the way around. And his shoulder dislocates. How's the body feeling today? Pretty good. I had Cairo this morning actually. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. yeah. So I feel nice cool. and adjusted. Perfect. And then we'll do go for some straight arm raises as well too. Just to say hi. So nice uh, protraction depression. And then fully up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I feel the, these today. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to do a little crisscross here. Mm -hmm. Get into the uh, delts. So come on up to the side. Oh, that feels tough today. Right? <laughs> okay, so we'll go for like uh, scap raises and scap push-ups up top just to see. I'm gonna feel those 10 pounds. I'm gonna feel those 10 pounds today for sure. <laughs> So okay. uh, one maybe pro tip we can give everybody at home too is to let's chalk the wrists as well today too. Oh, okay. So we can stay in like false grip maybe a little bit better. Oh, Goku shirt, dude. Yeah. I didn't even see that till right now. I was like, come on, Goku strength. Well, not yeah. Now you have to. <laughs> I, I need it for the calf yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I think let's try a, a solid straddle first. I'll hold the bar down and then let's see how that works out. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Whoa. Okay. Was so that okay? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> good job. Sick. Okay. Okay. It wasn't as terrible as I thought. No, no, no. I was no, like, what no, is that it? I was like, oh, we're heavy, but we're not that heavy. And actually, it wasn't even a straddle. Like, the legs were a little bit more forward, so that was perfect. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love I'll progress. So, we'll go for about like a minute and a half, two minute break, and then we'll go for a single leg. I know, I'm excited to get back to my calisthenic work now. You know, all that muscle you build, like, will transfer over. So. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. I'm like, I mm -hmm. mean, let's make sure this muscle is functional as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It looks yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. But usually they go hand in hand, so I'm not too concerned at all. I'm yeah. excited to see, like, my weighted pull ups go up because mm -hmm. I feel like they should go up. They will 100%. Well, also, too, last time weighted muscle up, right? So yeah. That happened. Oh, yeah. That was good. <laughs> Whichever leg you do do, have it be like super, super like tucked. Like super tucked chest. into my chest. Yeah. If it needs to be slightly elevated, no problem. Let's just okay. try to get the same range again today. Okay. okay, these feel actually pretty good today. They look really good. So we'll just Ooh. try and switch opposite leg for the next one. This one? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll do a set of like banded, maybe 20 second plus. Very light volume, but just to say hi to the movement again. And yo, the lats must have grown <laughs> quite a bit. Yeah, yeah my, my lot. <laughs> <laughs> it just got a little bit bigger over yeah. uh, bodybuilding seasons. Yeah, I think too, like we've been focusing a ton on my rear delts as well. Nice. One of my least favorite exercises, but I think that's obviously a big muscle group in this, so. 100%, yeah. That and like rhomboids, which you probably got from like a lot of like the retraction, even just horizontal rowing or barbell rowing. Or, ton of barbell uh, rowing. Yeah. That's what I did a lot of there actually. So a lot of like easy bar underhand, barbell, dead stop ones. That'll <laughs> definitely transfer over to this 100%. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Especially if there's tempo involved, like if you're like going Having for, to like hold it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's good. I know people are always curious about like the crossover between like there is. strength training and calisthenics. So, like, oh, like do they complement each other? Do they work against each other? So it's good to know that like anybody's wondering, like, usually for like I think we've chatted about it before, but for like the front lovers, I give like two to three minute, even upwards to four or five minute breaks. Yeah, in between like, sets. Yeah, yeah. But if you're doing band work, you could bring the break times down a little bit. Okay. Um, just to increase the endurance. And yeah. that in itself could be like a metric of progress. Like one, let's say you're taking two minute breaks between sets, but then week yeah. two it's like a minute and a half. And then week four, it's like 30 seconds. Like, oh, obviously, okay. you're progressing a yeah, little bit. Yeah, like your stamina and your endurance is getting better. Yeah, yeah. but usually, just like, kind of, I guess, like, we could parallel it to like a powerlifting world. Like, if you're doing like strength movements, you want to take massive breaks. Yeah. Yeah. It's good now that I have like an actual skill related day. It's like mm -hmm. a rest day for me, but it's like skill, so I get to do all this stuff. I like for it. Fun. <laughs> and this one I want it near my bum, right? Yeah, or just a little bit higher. Yeah, like try there. there. Um, and then really getting closer, really false grip it as best as possible. So, in this 20 seconds, if we find that it starts to fade a little bit, um, then we'll go straddle. Yep, you got it. Get 10 left, 10, nine, eight, seven, looks good. Six, five, good, four, three, two, and <laughs> whoa, very nice. All right. God like damn. That. Excellent. Okay, that last five seconds was very hard. Very good job. Cool. When you're like, we're gonna start off, I was like, I was like breathe. Yeah. <laughs> It's so tricky to continue breathing and hold that. Well, yeah, um, still trying to like maintain a tight core because you want to breathe and then just fun, like turn into jello. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna do front lever raises from the bottom. So from down here, ideally as straight arms as possible. And you're gonna lift from the bottom oh. up and then bring it back down. Mine won't look like that. Mine <laughs> won't look like that. They can also be This uh, is like Instagram versus reality right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that looks really good. So try, try the straight legs, yeah. And then if it doesn't work out, then we'll do like single leg in. Okay. And then if that doesn't work, We'll go straddle. Okay, and how many? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. Yep. <laughs> really good, actually. 
actually, yeah. And it yeah. doesn't have to come all the way up just yet. Just as, just as high as I can. Yeah, yeah. And they don't have yeah. to be connected either. So what you did is perfect. So break and then do. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So key here is hollow and super straight arms. Okay. And because we're just coming off bodybuilding, you know the pull down this way? Yeah. It's the exact same. Think of like that. Okay. Yeah. Wow, I feel that all in my lat. <laughs> yeah. Any front lever thing will just like activate lats so much. Front lever is like 90% lats. A lot of people think it's like super core. And there is an element yeah. of core. A lot of people do think it's core. Yeah. If you can drag and flag, then it's a good indicator that you can front lever for sure. Okay. Would you Absolutely. say there's like a certain amount of drag and flags? You think like, you know how like people say like one yeah. muscle up you need like 10 pull-ups? Yep. Is that similar? Yeah, so I think it comes down to capacity. So like mm. you want to be able to train your front lever for, you know, multiple sets. So if you can hold a dragon flag at the bottom, I'd, I'd actually prefer you to hold it for like, let's say 10 to 20 seconds for like three sets okay. versus like actually doing reps up and down. That, makes that sense. will carry over a little bit more because ultimately you want to be good in that horizontal position at the bottom. Yeah, because uh, the top part's the easy part, easier yeah. part. Exactly. But now we have to use lats even more for muscle-ups. For muscle-ups, yep. oh my God. <laughs> when did you start? Uh, Kyle Sinek, so I started in 2014. So technically... Almost 10 years, almost yes. a decade. Damn! This is my 10 year anniversary. <gasps> what are you gonna do? So you should do like a big celebration. I think so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Celebration, maybe a competition, hopefully. Yeah. We'll see. A lot of people don't wanna start just because they're like, oh, everyone starts this from when they're like, is, uh, so yeah. true. What made you start? Well, I saw someone do a cool move. So I saw Carlos do yeah. a muscle up. And then I could actually do some pull ups at the time. And I was like, yeah. oh, I could do a muscle up. And then <laughs> I like tried it and I was like, nope, I can't do it. And uh, I was genuinely shocked. So I was like, I could do quite a few pull ups. Why is this yeah. not happening? And I just realized there's a lot of technique involved in it. From there, I was like, okay, it, there's like a learning process to this. And I just got like intrigued by how I couldn't do it. Not that I was like super athletic or anything, but I was like, okay, if I could do a pull up, I should be able to do this and it was just the actual process of it and like yeah. learning a new move was like really intrigued me but for anybody that's like looking to start and it's like oh like age like I should have started a long time ago mm -hmm. like I train students now that start in their 50s or 60s yeah and that's like, the thing about calisthenics is technically you know, it's just body weight so you can start literally whenever what you're saying like when you see something in calisthenics you're always like yo it looks easy I could do that yeah but it's the most like, humbling <laughs> freaking sport you can do yeah and also too like it doesn't have to be super complex like yeah. You don't have to do handstand push-ups or a lot of people I teach will end up doing like just push-ups or body weight squats. It's still calisthenics. Yeah. It's all body weight. And yeah. chances are people in their lifetime mm -hmm. have experienced calisthenics. Maybe they just didn't have it as a label. All right. So let's try our first high pull-ups of the day. So stepping down, get a little bit of a swing forward and then pulling as low as humanly possible on your chest. On chest. Yeah. yeah. Let's see where it's at. Big pull. Nice. Yes. And for anybody wondering, you could always progress that like from chin all the way down to like waist level. Now we will go with full muscle up. So okay. let's try one body weight one, see how it looks. It was Brow. a bigger kip than normal, but. It's okay. Yeah. Still cleaner than like normal, I would say. So. Okay. Or not normal, but like a while. Oh, from way before, yeah. yeah. So like the fact that you can still muscle up with like knees kipping is like a really good sign. So we'll go one muscle up and then three straight bar dips, three pull ups with it. Okay. Yeah. As this try sequence that. for today. Let's try so, that. Yeah. What is mm -hmm. the realistic progress? I guess just in starting calisthenics, I always say like start mm -hmm. with the fundamentals, like your yep. your push up, your pull, like your plank or your hollow body hold, yeah. and then a squat. Yeah. Like if you can yeah. master those four functional movements within calisthenics, Absolutely. then you can start building in any direction you want. Like if you want to specialize mm -hmm. more in the pull, the push, yep. lower body, whatever it is. Yep. I specialize more in push and mobility in my legs. Mm -hmm. You're definitely very much more like pull. the handstand and pull. Yeah, yeah. Like pull huge. Like Mike's pull is freaking amazing. Yeah, the only thing I would add on there would be a dip. I'd, I'd, oh yeah, dip, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, dips, yeah. yeah. Dip, dip, dip. Um, but I think pretty much to your point, everybody agrees like worldwide that like pull, push, dip, squat, and then like hollow or plank yeah. is your fundamentals. Like let's say dip, squat, uh, push up, and the plank is there and then you're kind of working the pull up. That's okay, that can be like your kind of skill until it's not so yeah. like everything is like a skill until it's not so if you're doing it for like many many reps or like long hold times then it's probably just a rep for you right and then yeah. if you're if you're not doing it for a long time then it's still in skill land i have like, a lot of things in skill land <laughs> I, dude, like most of my stuff is in skill land yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody's skill land will be different so for us it might be like a planche or like a 90 degree handstand push-up or something yeah. um, or like a super heavy weighted muscle up but someone who's just beginning their skill might be like a 90 degree squat yeah right like if they're like up a little bit higher unless they want to like increase the range or something so yeah like i know everyone's like oh like you know how people like label things on on the internet like yeah. beginner workout it's like it's beginner but it depends on your level yeah of yeah. beginner there's like true novices yep. like true beginners who've 
never done anything before. Yeah. And there's someone who's worked out for a long time and say like bodybuilding, powerlifting, whatever. Yeah. But their beginning is going to look a lot different than someone who's never oh worked out gosh, before. Oh my gosh, yeah, absolutely. They're probably coming in with pull-ups already and all that yeah. versus like somebody might be coming in with walking. Like yeah. it sounds silly, but like if you're just starting, like walking could be a skill or like walking for like a long time. In yeah. my mind anyways. No, I'm a weak. No, that's okay. I'm that's weak okay. Today. It's okay. It's front okay. levers that took it away. That's all good. We'll do some more body weight ones and then we'll bring back the stay tuned. We will stay bring back. They, I've done them before. Muscle. I have video proof. I, I do that. We do actually. Yeah. <laughs> my deficit and strength definitely came from some holiday cookies. I'm not going to lie. Oh, 100%. Oh cookies, pie. Yep. Big, big, big kip with it. Yeah. Just move the knees as high as possible. Up. Yeah, there you go. Nice. And then three dips. Uh, yeah, three if you can. One. Two, yeah, easy. Three, and then pull-ups. Easy work. Three, one, nice. Two, yeah, and three. Okay, we're on track now, perfect. So big break, and then we'll do three sets of that. Oh my God. Easy work. People who think calisthenics is easy because it's just body weight, wrong. They're not training calisthenics right, that's what I always say. I agree, or they're not pushing hard enough, maybe. Yeah, it's funny, sometimes when you talk to people about like, oh, like, how do you train calisthenics? It's like, well, wouldn't it just be like, you just do reps? And I'm like, no. Ooh, there's so you, many there's levels so to it. There's so many levels so to many it. So many levels, yeah. You could go strength work, you could go weighted reps, you could go static hold. I mean, we're doing a hybrid today, right? So we mm -hmm. start with the statics and all that, so yeah. And, and it's, it's so really hard to do reps after statics. Like, it's hard, especially if the rep is still kind of like, not beginner phase, but like, it's not like super, super elite, right? Yeah, like, like it's a newer one for yeah. me. Like, like, muscle ups in general, with this form is newer for me. Yeah, yeah. I used to do the most, well, everyone used to saw my Instagram and stuff like that. I used to do the most <laughs> janky, hybrid, <laughs> gymnast <laughs> kip to like CrossFit, and then I'd come down like a calisthenic athlete. It was, it was like a hybrid yeah. of all three. Yeah. <laughs> oh, CrossFit versus calisthenic. Here we go. <laughs> you put a funny meme the other day of yeah. you like watching a competition with the reps and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because yeah, reps yeah. and calisthenics, we're, we're very we, strict. We are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then obviously you have CrossFit, which is a little bit, a little bit less, less strict. strict. Yeah. Yeah. They have the kipping, which like in calisthenic world, like that would not count as rep at all. Not at all. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. no. But at the, at the same time, like obviously like CrossFit athletes are immensely strong. It's mm. just like a discipline specific, I would say. Yeah, I would say so. CrossFit is like, from what mm -hmm. I've talked to with CrossFit athletes, it's like mm -hmm. the ability to do something as fast as possible. Yes, yeah. That's what it is. Like that's the purpose of everything. So it doesn't have to be neat. It doesn't have to be tidy. Yep. They're just trying to get through the workout and get through the movement yeah. in a safe way, but it's also as fast as possible. Yeah. Calisthenics is not about speed at all. No, no, no. Like, Unless you're doing Doing like a power competition then there's a little bit of speed involved but like just generally speaking it's like clean wraps take your time like time under tension whatever so yeah mm -hmm. i would say that like there is in my opinion it's it's better to chase strict reps before you do kipping i do think a lot of people like agree yeah. with that i would suggest having like a strict pull-up before you do a kipping muscle up for example yeah in my world mm -hmm. strict looks better people are a little bit you know about crossfit if i post crossfit stuff people are like no rep yeah <laughs> Yeah, Because yeah. <laughs> my community is calisthenics. Yes, absolutely, yeah. And to that point too, there's actually like levels within kipping, right? Because yeah. obviously like we had like super open chain when we started and then we slowly brought it down. Now there's like knees, but like you could have like front kipping, you could have like straight leg kipping, you could have yeah. so many variations of that. For example, if somebody's chasing their first pull up, mm -hmm. they're doing like strict negatives, they're doing like strict banded work, but let's say they're like, okay, today's the day I'm getting my pull up. Yeah. I'll like allow like a little elevator movement going yeah, on like a little to get momentum. their first strict one. Whatever works to get you there, because yeah. you, you still need to teach your body that you have to move it around the bar in the case of a muscle up, or that you can yeah. move your chin over the bar in the case of a pull up. So I would say the biggest like difference between a CrossFit muscle up and a calisthenic one mm -hmm. is for calisthenics, we come to the bar hollow. Yep. CrossFit athletes, you'll see the big the, the Superman position. Body. Yeah, like the. Yeah. yeah, and I would say in terms of, ooh, that was a big step up. In terms <laughs> of like figuring out who's from which division or like yeah. background, that's like a big indicator. Yeah, you can tell. I do see like the bicep, like so a lot of Cali athletes will have their bicep in line with their ear or slightly ahead of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of like open chin yeah. kipping will be like more here. So you can kind of tell sometimes and it's not like wrong if you put your bicep behind your ear. I would yeah. just say it's probably easier to hold like a hollow position in my opinion if like your hip are more in line and not out And like here. super, yeah, because this yeah. automatically makes you almost want to arch your, and open your chest. Exactly, yeah, it's, a, it's like an automatic fighting extension movement. So. Yeah. All right, now we will move on to weighted pull-ups. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> more pulling. <laughs> Having like overall musculature and like building musculoskeletal strength will benefit any human, period, no matter what that looks like. However, talking about movement specificity and patterns of like a daily life, I think it's not the best discipline for that. Because there's a lot of ice 
isolation, and typically, like in your day-to-day -day life, you're not like, let me isolate my like lateral head of the delt, right? Bicep curl. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like it, it, usually, it doesn't work, work yeah. like that in real life. So I would say, of the disciplines, that's my least favorite for transferring over to like functional, functional stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah, I would say the same. 100. Like my division's a little bit different because I am in fitness, mm. but the amount of people that I talk to in the bodybuilding world who are like, oh, I need help stretching, I need help this because I'm just so tight. I just think that's like a good indicator of like not being a yeah. full, well-rounded yeah. discipline. Like, don't get me wrong, bodybuilders are probably the most aesthetic looking people out there. Oh my God, yeah. And, their, and their mental game is so friggin' strong to Insane. be able to push themselves yeah. through stuff. It's really wild. But if you're looking at like the ability to move, yeah. most bodybuilders will like literally admit, like I can't even put my arms above my head because their lats are just so developed Yoke, that yeah. their overhead is like here. <laughs> but if you put a calisthenic athlete and a bodybuilder together and they're like, okay, lat flare, obviously one's gonna be better than the other. Oh yeah. 100%. But if you go, yeah. oh, but now like do a mobility type movement, chances are a calisthenic athlete will be better. Yeah. So we're coming down. So from here it's so one Mississippi, head over all the way down. Oh. One Mississippi, head over all the way down. Three to five. Yeah. Okay. And one Mississippi. Up. Yeah, there you go. Yep. One Mississippi. Oh yeah, that's yours. Got it. One Mississippi. Yeah. Three? That's do you want me cool. to like rest and do two more or three is good? I'd say rest two more. Okay. Yeah, just for the first set after the front lovers and everything. <laughs> One Mississippi. Up. There you go. It can be singles, yeah. Okay, I was going to say that was a really cheated cheat. That's okay. <laughs> it was, that was just that a was reach. Like a, a neck rain, yeah. <laughs> One Mississippi. Oh, oh that's okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like 10 more seconds. For anybody watching, this should help us like bridge the gap between more body weight pull-ups. Because that's usually where we get stuck. Like on the last rep, it'll just be like on the last little bit going out. Yeah, you get stuck at that little top range where you can't like reach above the bar anymore. Yeah. For me personally, I don't think doing bodybuilding made me any more functional than I was before. Yeah. yeah it's not like I like did bodybuilding. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, fair. fair I'm so fair. much more talented now. It yeah. was more just like, wow, I got really lean. <laughs> and, and also too, like a lot of the movements you chase within bodybuilding, in my opinion, do not need a tremendous amount of mobility mm -hmm. whereas like a lot of the movements within calisthenics like you will literally not be able to do it if you're not mobile in that range yeah like plunges in your wrist if you got oh, a bad wrist you're done, you're done. yeah whereas in bodybuilding unless you're in fitness yeah. If you have bad wrists, no one would really be able to tell. And historically, if you do look at bodybuilding from a long time ago, maybe even before social media slightly, yeah. there was actually a heavy emphasis on mobility for like hitting the poses and stuff. So yeah. it's and not like- some guys still do that. Some guys do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. for instance, um, yeah. he's on VQ with me. He drops down into the splits. Oh my gosh, yeah. So like, he's so more mobile than I am. So exactly. there is crossover there. It's not like one for one. I just say maybe statistically wise. Yeah, like, if you're looking like, if you're gonna yeah. like generalize the categories mm -hmm. and not looking at each individual person. Okay, so utility for this is top range of motion for your dip. A okay. uh, little bit of power development up there, but also as you're coming up, it should help you use a little bit more of your chest as well too, okay. to get out of the dip. So when we get stuck at the bottom range of motion, so you can set this up many ways. I think for today we'll go, so band here. You could try and go around your trap, so it'll probably just be on the back of the neck a little bit. Yep. And then you're gonna grab the band in, in your palms right here. Yep. So we hit that hollow position, so depress and protract the scapula a little bit. Then from there, you're dipping forward, and then this is where it gets spicy, spicy at the top. So we're gonna try a few with Just body weight. body weight and see how that goes. Yeah. Nice, oh yeah, that's easy. Perfect, okay, cool, cool. Done this done. is where I excel my dips. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pushing. <laughs> yeah. So now we're gonna add the weight belt to it. Okay. All I right. think with the band it should be fine. Yeah, should be okay. Six. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, and one, easy. Two, yep. Three, there you go. Four, yeah. Five, yeah, it's yours. And push, easy. For street lifting, uh, as a metric, or most calisthenic competitions, you'd have to have rear delt below the elbow. Yeah. Um, so that's tricky, because if you got jacked rear delts. Which um, I don't, thank God, no rear delts. Yo, I thought you were working on your rear delts. But I know, but they're not jacked yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> they're still tiny. <laughs> That's okay. So like when T can't get in the dip anymore, then we'll know they're like super, super big. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, That's a new metric for it. <laughs> yeah. Your rear doesn't cut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. Like, it will get worse, but my uh, front lever will get better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Front lever pull up, just like, yeah. hey guys. <laughs> so core is gonna suck a little bit for oh, this. Is it? Yeah, Aww. just a touch. What is it? Else it holds on the rings. Bruh. Yeah. What's up? Look hey. who's here. Hey. How's it going? Hey. <laughs> it's been a minute. We're gonna How's do going another on? YouTube video. Oh, yes. That's what I was saying. I've got yeah. better at coaching, so. <laughs> oh, you were pretty good before. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's levels. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't have to do external rotation. 
Yeah. Ooh, external oh, would be very. That looks hard. shaky. Very. So keep it like a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I don't really know too many people who can do external rotation at the top. External, like you mean like like this? RTL. Ain't no way. Yeah. Anyways, I'm not, not going to test it. Yeah, not today. Okay, we'll <laughs> just go, just go regular. Just pinch regular. it to the side. Yeah. Actually. Can you? Oh, dude. Hot damn. Not yeah, bad. and if it gets too crazy, then, then just bring it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. And five. Oh, I thought you were going to say four, and done. Three. That was so rude. Two. And so rude. done. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was awful. So you can and, do it. and done. <laughs> and five. Yeah, I think I have better on my left side than my right side. I, which oh, makes okay. sense because this okay. is the side that always flares up with the tendonitis. Tendonitis, I think. yeah. So it's probably a little weaker in my stabilizers. I just don't even think I could RTO today if my life depended on it. Flash last night. But yeah, it'd be hard. You'd have to go a little bit in front of you, no? And if you got like really big, like, I guess like quads like hips? Side or hips, hips yeah. yeah. Both uh, would just... Yeah, that would make really it really hard. hard. Iron cross, coolest move ever, so tough. Yeah. That's another move that you see though, and you're like, I could do that, until you try. That's really important. You start to, you start to just go like this, and you're like, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I've, you know, it's one that I've actually never pursued, to be honest, because I just, Same. for me, like, I can't do it in a lot of places, and I like having my stuff portable for me to teach or whatever. Yeah. Like, you have to pull out the rings, you have to... Have you guys to have enough depth to actually lower yourself. Yeah. And yeah. stuff. It's no. a beautiful move, and maybe one day I'll, I'll do it, but I prefer, like, full planche first, and then I'll get that after. I feel like Iron Cross, too, like, after you get it, it's not like you can really build on it, whereas, like, with planche, you can do planche mm. push-ups, yeah, you can yeah. do, like, 90 planche degree up to planche, like, a yeah. bunch of entries that exits out of it. Iron Cross is kind of just like... So you're there, yeah. Like you can maybe do a little bit of air walking. Yeah, yeah. But that's about it. <laughs> there, you go. there we go. And timer's on. Good. Easy. Yeah, that's really good. That's a good amount of RTO. Like, I was struggling. Yeah, very good. Good. Yeah, you got it, you got it. 10, 9, 8, 7, you got it. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and done. We got a little shake city at the end that's there. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Working under the rings is really good for beginners, like ring rows. Oh, that. yeah, yeah, Australian rows, um, inverted rows, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, fuzzy rows. Why don't we have Canadian something? <laughs> I don't know, I guess we were, got, late. we were late to the game, man. You got Bulgarian lunges, Turkish yep. get-up, Romanian deadlifts. The Canadian, Canadian muscle up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like Bulgarian lunge sounds pretty sick. You're like, oh, we're gonna do Canadian lunges today? Yeah, it just sounds too friendly. Right? It's like, oh, you're gonna help me. It's gonna be assisted. <laughs> hey, so we got 200 hollow body rocks number down. 200? 200? No, 100, sorry. Oh, okay, bless. <laughs> does it actually say 100? Yeah, it does say 100. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was like, that's fucking rude. Excuse my language. <laughs> this is another one that you look at it and you're like, that's so easy. Like, nope. You're like, nope. Uh, it is like, it can be like 50, 50 or 25, 25, 25. Yeah, I think I usually try to go for as many as I can first one and then I break it down. Nice, four. Yeah, you're doing like that full like arms overhead, like that's really aggressive and I like it. <laughs> nice and clean. Yeah, beautifully clean. We were doing um, like 200 with the advanced class last night and it didn't look like this because they were uh... Two hours later. I know you've been hollow body rocking for decades now. <laughs> they're, they're like a slow creep, don't you find? Like you'll do like like 10 or 12 and be like, this is nothing. And like then I'm like all of a sudden now. it hits a wall and you're like, Whoa. I can't keep a hollow body to save my life. Yeah, I usually end up like going hands down, to be honest, like beside me, like after a while when it gets like too crazy over there. However, I think there's more utility in this for like handstand perhaps because it's an overhead position. Yeah. You know, being true to the full form, I guess I would say. The next day. Some of the progressions we're doing for like front lever today, if anybody's wondering, like if you go like one leg in or like if you go straddle, like that could potentially alleviate some of the uh, resistance, which could oh. be good when you're getting tired. It we're only halfway, thank God we're not doing 200. I'm I'd have been like, hey, actually it's time for me to get out of here. Video done, yeah. <laughs> Several days later. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you get the idea. She did 100. I want you guys at home to try this workout. Tell me how it is. It's kind of rough, yeah. Even if you just do like the warm up in this yeah. workout. We were uh, pretty efficient today, though. Was, yeah, was, I would yeah. say we got through everything, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Good. Sick. Amazing. Ah! Turkey. Okay. <laughs> Turkey high five. This <laughs> we saved it at the end. All right, that is it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are looking to get into calisthenics, have any additional questions, drop them below. Either I'll answer them or Mike will answer them because he also awesome. has a YouTube channel. Yep. Make sure to subscribe. Follow him on Instagram as well. Thank you, you have so a much. bunch of tutorials on there. So it's like, in terms of free content, yeah. Mike has a ton. He also have your training in um, Mississauga or like GTA. Yep area yep. he also does online awesome so if you guys want to get into calisthenics i highly recommend him he's Thank my you. coach so yeah. 
Oh, thanks. He you. is amazing. Always Bye. a pleasure to work with you. So yeah. You jacked. We'll do, maybe in the comments, <laughs> put something below of like what you want Mike Mike to yeah. do a tutorial on next. And awesome. then we'll do that. Because we haven't done a tutorial in a while. Exactly. Yeah. And okay. then if not, we'll just uh, invent the Canadian. Yeah, we'll just invent the Canadian yeah, skill. <laughs> Get that trending. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.